been doing a few tests, ran out of uh, storage space on that camera, but I wanted to take this quick video. I talked to somebody today, um, he will be in, I'll be listing his information in that video. Sorry about the scruffy, um, just been so busy with work and everything and all this. Haven't, had, haven't even had time to shave. So um, I just did some tests um, where I took um, this cap and I had it in, in his video he shows that there's two here and then there's two coming out so there's two coming in from the uh, Bedini circuit and then two two from the Bedini circuit going on to here uh, onto each pole and then one from each of these going to the bridge rectifier uh, on the AC side and then taking the positive and negative and bringing it to the battery. I wasn't seeing any results. It was draining on the battery very much, but I just did a test um, and this kept, the, the cap here kept gaining in, in voltage. So I'm sort of a bit concerned about it. It's a little scary, but. All right, so battery is, everything's connected and we have positive here, negative there. And we have 13, it's going up on its own. It's not even It's not even connected and it's going up on its own. So let's see what happens when we spin it. Actually, let's not hold these up. Because we can, there's enough surface area that they can hold themselves. Okay, so these should actually drain a little bit of power on their own, but Anyways, let's see what's going to happen. really clipping along and I bet you the cap is probably almost fully charged. Okay, so it's maintaining itself at 136. So it's still reading at 0.55 volts. Okay, so I'm going to start up the motor again.
so that didn't seem to work. Didn't get any more charge than what we started with. So let's try another thing here. Let's try the caps. This is positive. The heck is that? Oh, I guess that helps. Okay, yeah, it does. <laughs> so that's positive. And then I'll go here. And this one is positive. Alright, so we have a reading. So on the cap, we have zero. No, it's acting as a dead short. Let's try a bit faster. much friction on that damn bearing. I bet you if I didn't have the friction on the bearing. Alright, so we're going to try I'm going to try to pre-charge up this cap with the motor. Maybe that will work. I'm really worried about touching these together because I don't know what I'm doing. Should have used a resistor on that. Alright, now I'm trying it in series, I believe this is called. And we have reading of 12 volts, 11.98 volts, probably at yeah, 99 and climbing. So, 
Um, let's give her a shot. Yellow is positive, and white is negative. And Sounds like that's doing a good job. Look at that climb right away. Stabilized. It's bouncing all over the place. Alright. Still going down. So by doing this as well, I'd like to see what putting another one in the series would do. We'll know if uh, the speed increases. And I hear it increasing. So let's see what happens when you put another one. pretty good for um, as close to free energy as you're going to get. That's stable at 12.91. Uh, it may go down a little bit more because it's just, you know, getting the initial load on the, on the motor, but this thing spinning, you know, for consuming, you know, almost nothing. So I'm going to go out and I'll come right back and uh, we'll see how it goes. It seems that this is the most efficient way to set it up. So I've got the positive, this is an AC cat, um, the positive going to the positive, the negative going to uh, one of the AC. Uh, the other AC coming out to the negative of the Bedini, and then um, the negative, the negative and the positive going splitting between the positive feed here and then the positive and the negative. 